Good afternoon everybody, hope you're having a lovely day today. I have got a story for you today that's an absolute classic, lots of you might already know it. It's a story that I had um, when I was a little girl as well, so I'm really excited to read this story for you today. It is called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. It's an absolutely fabulous story, so I can't wait to read it to you. It is written by Judith Kerr. She's today's author. So I'm going to flip to the back and read you the blurb first and then we'll get into it. So it says, the doorbell rings just as Sophie and her mummy are sitting down to tea. But who could it possibly be? What they certainly don't expect to see at the door is a big, furry, stripy tiger. Definitely not when you knock on the door. So get yourselves into a comfy position and then we will begin. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly, there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who it could be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because it isn't the day that he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he has got his own key. We better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Having a tiger come for tea. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't make just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and he swallowed them in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie also passed him the buns going to end up eating everything. But again the tiger didn't just eat one bun, he ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and the tea in the teapot. Must be really thirsty too. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. Wonder what else he would like to eat. He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. Wow, must, must be really hungry. He drank all the milk, all the orange juice, all of Daddy's beer and the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for Daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. Uh-oh. And Sophie found that she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drinks. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to the cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. Even that cat looks a bit like a tiger. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. 
and they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come back for tea again. But he never did. I wonder if he went to another house instead. The end. Oh, I love that story. I wonder what animal you would like to have round your dinner table. I wonder if they'd eat all the food like the tiger did. So that was the tiger who came to tea. And that was our today's story. And I hope you can join us again tomorrow. All right. Bye, everybody. Stay safe.